old news, nothing special, something I've probably said a thousand times before. Um, we can't disprove God. We just don't find no reason to say it's real. There's no confirmation. That's it. A person who's an atheist doesn't know there's no God. Well, they know in as far as they can say there are no fairies, there are no sprites, demons. Um, there's no Merlin just wandering around. Um, <laughs> there's no Harry Potter. There's no Harry Potter. Um, Gandalf probably doesn't exist. Hey, I can't say absolutely if these things do not, but yeah, there's probably no Gandalf. It's out of the mind, the imagination of uh, Tolkien. You know, just as uh, Harry Potter is out of the mind of, uh, you know, Rowling. And just as, um, well, I don't know, name something of Game of Thrones. Uh, Jon Snow. There are people called Jon Snow, but Jon Snow is from the mind of, uh, you know, uh, Martin. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> make, make of it what you will. Um, hey, yeah, uh, H.R. Giger's artwork, it was all based on real shit. You know, it may as well be. You, you can't prove it isn't based on real thing. You, you can't prove that the artwork regarding Santa Claus or Spider-Man is not based on something real. Mm. Um, but there's no reason to believe it's real. You just can't disprove it. That's the problem with evidence. You, you don't disprove things. You either confirm or deny the validity of, well, positive claims. That's it. There probably is no uh, beast of Bodmin Moor or whatever, some kind of old folklore nonsense. Nessie has not been confirmed. Um, I don't know. Uh, think of anything else. Uh, the various beasts and creatures, crypto creatures th that have not been confirmed, of those which have not been confirmed, um, yeah, there is no confirmation. And God is very much like that. Unconfirmed. Believed to be by those who choose to believe. And perhaps by some who think they're investigating the possibility. But as far as those people who care about what is confirmed and what is evidential, uh, yes, because you need evidence to confirm things, but uh, there is not even mathematical proof, you know, for the necessity of a God specific. You know, because very often these claims are more specific. It's more to do with, ah, yes, the Christian God, or the Jewish God, or... Well, it's kind of the same God, but there's different claims made about it. Because, God, yes, God, God, God is this the God that the Christians believe in, but there's many different sects, and, you know, if you do some things in one sect, that means, according to their view, you're going to go to hell. If you, you know, you don't do some things in another sect, the list goes on. Those divides become wider and more elaborate, as you get into different religions, different views of God or gods or some kind of higher source and forces that give out uh, karma or, you know, repercussions, uh, angels and other relating mythology, nature spirits, the list goes on. Um, things that could, in some ways, uh, potentially exist. Yeah, potentially exist, what does that mean? Uh, in the broadest possible sense, the greatest sense of potential is anything and everything could exist. How do we know what is real and what is not real? Well, what is confirmed? And those things that are confirmed are confirmed. Those things that aren't have not been confirmed as far as the claims about them. You know, a positive claim, something exists. Okay, prove it. I'm waiting, you know. Um, <laughs> some, uh, some Disney uh, child stars and their virginity mm, have doubts, have doubts. You know, they, they've hit puberty and then they've hit the you know, a certain age, and uh, yes, no, but they're still innocent, and they're going to go and have a music career, and yes, be believe in that innocence, if you will. But it's in doubt. It's in doubt. And uh, if you want to confirm things, it means getting quite personal, I'm sure. But um, in any case, if you want to confirm something, you need to demonstrate it on some level. And if you can't, you can't. You've made a positive claim, a claim of belief. And uh, you, you believe this to be so, or you accept it to be so if you think you've got evidence for it. And do you actually confirm it with the evidence there? No. 
So yeah, I've gone over that enough times. It is what it is. Unconfirmed. Um, there, that's the thing, because with the nature of how things are confirmed, a claim is stated, it is a positive claim for the existence of positive. And if it has not been confirmed, it does not go into uh, negative, it simply means it has not been confirmed. So there is no pit, but there is a peak. A peak of confirmation, but if there is no confirmation, there is no peak, it remains a flat line. And that's what you've got with all these things which have not been confirmed. They are flat. They have not risen to the level of some, le you know, some potential, at least, of confirmation. And so what are we left with? Uh, people and their claims of truth, you know. It comes down to faith very often. People who choose and in all seriousness uh, believe that they're uh, communicating with extraterrestrial beings from beyond this world and uh, there's no reason to believe them. It's all the same in that regard. When they begin to prove stuff, it begins to make you think, well, maybe there's more potential here. There's something which is going on which we cannot fully explain. What are the possibilities? And all you need to do in that situation is to propose, usually, and this works in almost every single case, uh, without some reason to say this is not so, the most obvious answer is almost certainly the answer. A psychic tells you something, but they also know your sister, or your mother, or brother, whatever. Are there other ways they may have gained this information if it is indeed good and reliable information? Do they generalise? Do they ask questions, etc.? And it's the same with any number of subjects. Without a good reason to say a thing is certainly the case, or there is certainly something more than the explainable, why would you jump to conclusions of the unexplained? And that's where God is, left in this unexplained, you know, well, not necessarily unexplained as much as, because there isn't any huge enough mystery that needs a God. It, God is left in a pocket of mystery, just like fiction, like the ones I mentioned, just like many other supernatural claims like the ones I've mentioned. But at least if there's something to say, well, maybe there's more to this, you can look at it and then you go, well, actually, you don't need God for that. You know, miracles. Miracles happen to these people. But all these people had no miracles. You, you don't need to go much further than that. You get to a point of chance and things called miracles typically aren't. But uh, I think I've covered the subject sufficiently. Needless to say, if a claim is indeed in some way valid, there should be some method of confirming if it is valid, even if you then move the goalpost a little bit by saying, well, it's not going to be evidence of God because God is beyond, and it's like, well, you then have evidence of God's work in this world. So there would be some kind of way of confirming it in some way, shape, or form, or at least uh, if those claims were indeed valid.